So in previous videos, I've talked about the sweat lodge that I work at as a firekeeper. And I've been sharing a lot of stories on my Instagram about the work that I do there. And I've been getting some questions here and there about what a sweat lodge is. And uh, it's sometimes hard to describe that in just a small little answer or reply on a comment or direct message. So I thought, why not make a little video showing uh, people that are interested in what the sweat lodge is all about about. So why don't we just go to the sweat lodge and I'll show you around. All right, let me show you around the sweat lodge. This is our beautiful sweat lodge. Uh, we have loads loads of wood that we store here because we burn a lot of wood um, and then we have a fire pit over here i don't know i can't see a damn thing we have a fire pit over here and then we have the sweat lodge this is a turf house style sweat lodge it's pretty big i'll show you the inside we just had a sweat a couple of days ago and we're going to have a sweat tomorrow. So I'm also preparing a little bit here uh, for tomorrow. As you can see, the stones are still there from last time. It's a pretty big space. As you can see, lots of people can sit here. The hot stones go in the middle there. And then the guy who's leading the sweat lodge sits here and pours water over the stones. So what is a sweat lodge? Well, a sweat lodge is a Native American tradition where a bunch of people get together for a ceremony in a hot tent. That's basically it. The, uh, the heat is created by hot stones where you pour water over. It's basically the same principle as a sauna. It is just a bit more of a ceremony. There's probably people doing it a bit different here and there, but we have four rounds in the tent and each uh, round we sing sort of uh, mantras, songs that are very repetitive. And uh, every round that we do, we add another song. So the heat is created by these stones. They get heated up in the fire outside and uh, we bring them in very, very glowing red hot. And the guy who leads the ceremony will pour water over these stones, releasing the heat, making the space more humid. So it becomes a, a very intense experience, sort of very similar to uh, practices like meditation and yoga, uh, where you get into the subconscious state. You usually go in there with intentions and then being in that subconscious state, the in intentions can be implemented um, within you. I would see it as an easier practice as meditation, uh, where with meditation you have to get yourself into that state in a sweat lodge the the environment the sweat the heat sort of forces you in that subconscious state because you're in a situation um where you can you know you cannot really uh escape in your thoughts because you're in that moment you're trying to you know bear the heat oh yeah it's also it's also dark in there so what is a firekeeper then? As a firekeeper, I'll build a big fire with the stones inside. Nowadays, we use around 60 stones of this size. I mean, could be, could be this size, could be even a bit bigger, like these ones over there. And that fire will go at least for three hours uh, before the stones are really hot because they need to be completely completely hot from the inside and they'll be red glowing. Once the stones have been baked for three hours in this fire, they're ready to go into the tent. And as a firekeeper, I will open up the fire, bring the stones to inside of the tent. So the leader of the sweat can then take the fork and stack them up. So I don't have to go into the tent and he doesn't have to go outside of the tent. Besides that, as a firekeeper, I'm responsible for creating the safe space to hold the sweat lodge in. Um, 
I make sure that there is enough wood available every time we start a sweat because we do go through a lot of wood. Creating the environment, making sure that this place is nice, uh, welcoming people, making sure that people feel safe. So if somebody wants to come out of the sweat lodge, I'll be there to help them. I'll provide water. Uh, and I love him very much. Here. Here you go, Frank. He can do amazing things. Uh, people have experienced amazing healing or processing of the past or traumas or anything like that. For some people, it can be a little bit of an escape from life. You know, you get into the sweat lodge in that little, you know, bubble away from the world, away from your troubles. That, that, and that way it can help, um, you know, to give yourself a little rest. Uh, but for other people, it's just, you know, a nice uh, sauna experience. We can't promise anything. It's a very personal experience. Um, whatever the path is you're on, uh, a sweat lodge can sort of help you, help you guide uh, in an, uh, the right direction. It's up to everyone, you know, what they seek and what they expect from it. Yeah, it's oh. cold like my, wow. Oh. It doesn't look cold, but my hands are freezing off. Ah. Some people might wonder if it is safe uh, to practice sweat lodging. Well, it is, it is as safe as a sauna. Um, you need to listen to your body. If you go too far, you need to take a step back or you need to get out. You shouldn't stay too long in a sauna either. We never force anyone to go past our limits in the sweat lodge if, uh, if you want to get out, if you don't feel well. We allow you to go out immediately. Uh, we just ask you to not return until the next round, uh, which is logic because we don't want to have people coming in and out and we, we don't want to lose the heat. But uh, we, we definitely don't want people to suffer anything bad inside because it's not about that. It's not about getting into a dangerous zone. It's not about um, pushing extreme limits. It's, it's about pushing a little bit, but it's not about um, doing something dangerous. I hope I'm in focus. Am I in focus? Been a couple of months now. Uh, we haven't been able to run some sweat lodges because of the restrictions around the coronavirus, but um, I'm happy to be back. I'm very grateful we're able to do this now. So why am I a firekeeper and why am I even involved with sweat lodging? Well, that story started uh, with my friendship with David. David started and runs the sweat lodge here in Erbaki. And while we became better friends, I discovered uh, more about what he was doing in his life. So I explored the sweat lodge and really liked that space. Wanted to be more involved with it. So that's how I very quickly became a firekeeper. I don't know the specific reasons why I uh, was so attracted to the sweat lodge, but I, I really liked the environment of the sweat lodge. And for me, the sweat lodge is more than just a hot tent where you sweat. It's a community, it's a supportive community. And uh, I like the energy around the sweat lodge. And I like uh, the people that the sweat lodge attracts. Like I wanna surround myself with these people and I wanna surround myself with that energy. And that's why I like to be here. I'm trying to discover more about what that energy is of a sweat lodge, and most, more specifically our sweat lodge. I'm doing that while making a documentary about the sweat lodge. So we took down the old sweat lodge that David built and we built a new one uh, right next to it. And that was the start of the documentary. We wanted to document that process and uh, that evolved more in a film about the, uh, the environment of the sweat lodge and David's story. And I'm very excited about that project, but it's a very big project. It's, uh, it's taking a lot of energy and time, but it is a beautiful story and I'm very excited to tell that story, but we'll have to wait a little bit longer because there were a bunch of twists recently. And uh, even though I want to wrap this up, I have to wait until the story wraps up to be able to wrap this up. But in the meantime, I've made this little video about the sweat lodge because I wanted to already show something. So there's some shots in this video that are coming from the documentary. Um, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated when that project is about to be wrapped up and when we can show this to you. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this was something interesting and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys around.